some of the parts that comes into my workshop um, are coming in wooden crate and this is a support it's made out of pine it's a it's a piece of wooden pine that uh, industrial and I'm trying to do um, for the cross channel I'm going to use one of those pieces of wood for this uh, channel um, for this channel for this challenge um, it's a miniature uh, miniature thing so uh, I'm going to try I'm going to try and do uh, a wine barrel um, because I'm from Cape Town and because I like wine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all I'm going to uh, square it make it round nicely and I'm going to mark it and I'm going to cut grooves and in those grooves I'm going to put black resin but this time I'm using um, a resin from um, it's a it's called a Lumalite uh, fast setting black I use it also for my workshop or for some other ideas that I've got and this one the reason why I'm holding it it gets dry under your eyes really it gets dry fast it doesn't give you enough time to play so I just waited a little bit for that to set because it was too short and now you can see you can see the bubbles you can see how it gets dry in front of your eyes of course it's it's a quicker uh, the video is a little bit quicker but it it's quick and now I've got enough time it, it got a little bit harder and I've got enough time to add some more resin because it, I was short with it and you can see the resin curing in front of your eyes look at the bubbles on the sides um, and on the bubble on top if you ever look at that there is like they bubble up beautiful it gets really really dry and I left it I, I've gone up I had something to drink I came back 20 minutes later and that's how it looks like after 20 minutes you can work with it but it's a hell of a mess look at that it's it's a little bit still soft um, it's soft tish but I don't care because I just need that I just need it to be in the grooves so I really don't care to to lose the um, excess uh, resin over there it's amazing resin if you need something to do quickly I'll tell you later what I'm also doing with it it's a, it's a brilliant idea if you are um, if you are in trouble um, what I do is if I've got a place that I need to hold the center point and and I can't because there is some holes over there I'm fill them up with this resin quickly it set up quickly and I can start working with it um, now you can see the grooves um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to square it nicely um, it's going to be a short video guys it's it's for the channel a challenger challenger and now I'm going to make the grooves now remember uh, two videos ago I made um, with copper and gel and um, it didn't show as much as I liked uh, copper uh, so I'm playing uh, the, there is another project that I'm busy with it now that I'm using it and here also and I'm just trying to see what's the ratio the correct ratio and I think that I found what's the correct ratio that's not chocolate that's the gel with copper powder and I found that it is one to one one particle of uh, weight of the gel and one particle weight of the copper and this one will give me uh, a nice copper look and a nice copper shine um, through the gel I'm starting to shape this the, the way that I like I, I would like to do the final shape of the barrel and um, then you will see I'm playing in between the grooves and what I'm doing is I'm just allowing the groove to shine up a little bit so the wood will be uh, synced in and the grooves the, um, that's supposed to show like the bends of metal that's standing and holding the barrel they will stand up a little bit and that's what I'm that's what I'm doing here I'm I'm taking it a little bit below the line so this those uh, copper lines will stand out so when you hold it in your hand it will feel like you've got the bands of metal that's holding those um, those holding this barrel together 
And now you can see already, without even polishing, you can see that the, the color of the, of the copper shines out and it really comes out very nice. Uh, so I think I, I, think I managed to, to find the, the right place um, and the right amount, it's one to one. And now I'm using uh, Yorkshire Grid and then I'm going to use um, Obishan Juice. I use the sandpaper from 120 to 400 only. You already can see how much the copper shines. Now what I'm going to do is, if you ever look at the wine barrel, it's got like indentation in the middle that the wood sits, the, the cap sits, both sides of the cap sits a little bit below the line. And I'm trying to do that and now I'm going to part it. Uh, of course, using the black line parting tool, uh, fell in love with it. Um, and it works as on, on pine, it, it's like butter really. Before I'm turning it around into the lathe, I'm putting a piece of tube, a bicycle tube above it. And that one will hold it so it's not going to be scratched by the chuck. And I'm doing exactly the same on the other side. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my channel. And if you like, actually, I would like you to also put remarks. It helps a lot. Thanks. Now the only thing that's left is to remove the rubber and that's all, it's ready. I think it's long long due, cross channel, YouTube cross channel 2021. Um, last month, or two months ago already, it was a Benso box from Benso from you. And I'm sorry you, but I I'm afraid of my Benso and I, Almost lost my finger one day, so I don't do funny things on my benzo. I do as little as possible. I cut some my apologies. Uh, last month it was a miniature, <coughs> sorry, miniature, miniature of something. Um, something that's big, but you make it small. So I'm from South Africa, Cape Town. What can be more than a wine barrel? Wheat. Copper. support rings you know one barrel they put in pieces of wood they support them not with copper they support them they used to do now they're supporting with metal so a miniature wine barrel cap town miniature wine barrel cross channel 2021 youtube cross channel 2021 Thank you guys. I'm waiting for this year, month one. Uh, I think it's been already announced. I didn't have time to look at that. Boom. See you on my next one. Cheers.